Ocean Springs are saying about a plan to turn a partially vacant outlet mall into a nightclub. Good evening, Arizona. I'm Kirsten Joyce. And I'm Frank Camacho. Melissa Phillips is here to explain why the proposed Hurricane Bay Entertainment Complex is creating a storm of controversy. Frank Kirsten, club owners say Hurricane Bay's giant dance floor and karaoke bar would give adults in East Mesa an option for entertainment. However, some owner, homeowners say if it opens, they stand to lose not only their property values, but their sense of security. Marianne Napadano bought a home in Superstition Springs because she thought it would be a good neighborhood to raise her children. It turns out it is. We have a nice base here now. The people that have been living with me here on the cul-de-sac and around the neighborhood now have been here for several years together and the kids are growing up together and this is where I want to be. Mary Ann fears a proposed nightclub could ruin the neighborhood and she's not the only one. I couldn't believe that something like this could even be proposed in an area like this because it's Superstition Springs, it's like 2,000 residential homes. Neighbors have been going door to door in an effort to keep Hurricane Bay from opening its doors. We've got the petition here to stop the nightclub to come in. Okay. Would you like to sign that? Sure. The club would be located in the vacant portion of this factory outlet mall. Owner Steve Practico says it would cater to a 25 and older crowd. Ours has, has been run very well and we have very few problems here. We have a popular place and it's, it's clean, safe and affordable and it's, it's a lot of fun and, and our patrons love it. Neighbors say the club, which could hold up to a thousand people, would bring a number of problems. For instance, they fear drunk drivers, drugs, and crime would move into Superstition Springs. I feel like I wouldn't be that safe anymore. We're right behind it. People can get lost, be wandering around in our neighborhood, whether walking or driving. Steve Practico says that's not the case. Their concerns are our concerns. The same problems that worry them so much are the problems that would put us out of business if we didn't prevent them from happening. We're, we're very conscious about not over-serving drinks. The issue won't go before the Mesa Planning and Zoning Board until January. However, a community meeting is scheduled for tomorrow. That's at 7 o'clock tomorrow night at the Country Inn and Suites in Superstition Springs. Certainly. Interesting case of NIMBY, not in my backyard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, thanks, Melissa. You're welcome. A valley man woke up in the night to a car.